here we describe the properties of uh, negative binomial distribution again those are indefinite trials binary outcomes independent trials the random variable x denoting the number of failures preceding the rth success so it can you know if the x denotes the number of failures then it is the rth success if the x denotes the number of successes it then it is rth failure you can use this alternatively to find out both So x random variable follows a negative binomial distribution with uh, parameters r and p. So probability mass function is given by x plus r minus 1, c r minus 1, p to the power of r, q to the power of x, x takes discrete value 0, 1, 2, r is greater than 0. So when we find the expectation value of x, which is basically the mean, we, have, we follow a familiar procedure. The calculation of uh, mean of negative binomial is little elaborate than usual. It's highly likely it follows some version of uh, binomial distribution, wherein you have an expansion in which you value it to about one. This term right there evaluates to 1, after which the expected value is found out to be RQ by P. Now we find the variance which is given by expected value of uh, X square minus expected value of X whole square. Again, that can be written in terms of it. Accepted value of x square is written in terms of accepted value of uh, x into x minus 1, which is expressed and evaluated here. x minus x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 are uh, equal to 1. Basically, the terms are equal to 1, so we take it from x is equal to 2 in the summation. We have to give intermediate steps, which is being done right now. Again, the variance is uh, computed. The right word is not really computed. The right word is evaluated. What are we computing here? So the entire right. Entire RHS is basically 1 by P. So it's 
so now we calculate the moment generating function and again it's an expected value of e to the power of e tx That's basically binomial expansion. So the moment generating function is p to the power of r divided by 1 minus q e to the power of t whole to the power of r. Now we use that to find cumulant generating function. k1 and k2, k1 being uh, mean and k2 being variance. So we take log of moment generating function and differentiate it one times. So the whole term evaluates to RQ by P, that's K1. So you can take the term directly before evaluating the term at T is equal to zero and uh, differentiate it again to find K2. Apparently you get k2 equal to rq by p square as was the case discovered previously. So now we have a method of moments by which we calculate mean and uh, variance. So here we don't take the log of the term. and that'll be mean, so we compute variance now. This is by far the most elaborate evaluation that we've done.
So we almost are at the end. We compute both the terms. We substitute it back. Okay, so it's basically RQ by P squared. So that's the variance of negative binomial function. Thanks for watching.